Hi everyone. Now I had told you um, I was going to try to be back the other yesterday, but I was unable to arrange that. But um, trying to get in the screen. <laughs> okay, that might just be it. Okay. Um, but anyhow, yeah, a few things happened, so I wasn't able to do that. But um, anyhow, I want to go through these Jen Hadfield collections. Well, pit. They're paper pads, actually. And I know I got maybe three of them at Tuesday morning. You can see here. And um, this one, it looks like I did kind of wipe this one out quite a bit. And um, I just got a few pieces left of that. I do have some scraps. And I just put them in um, one of these 8.5 by 11 page protectors. And I also, this is the one that I've used um, for a few of the um, yoga layouts. And so I have some of their those stickers because I bought those. And I do have washi tape that matches this one. Um, this was in one of them. And I think this must have been from one of them, but I'm not sure because I just don't even know where this came from. So it could be from one of them, I don't know. But I figured um, we'd kind of make them into some page kit and then I would add embellishments later. So um, I've kind of laid them out in color, color order like rainbow. And I just figured we'd just kind of grab some I'm going to take out all these things that are in here because um, it's like that's not even going to figure into it for me. It's like she's got a lot of the same colors and so I figure if I can just get some collections together because two of them I haven't even touched them. So um, and I know I, I'm like that with a few other things. And if I can't make collection out of them with just these, maybe I'll grab, um, excuse me, some, you know, some florals or plaids or something to make them um, so I'm able to use them that way. And so I will just be putting printer paper between them as I get collections made. And, and I've actually kind of got them, these collections kind of divided. Do I still have another? Yeah, this one's in here. I just left these things between them. And like this one here, um, like I don't know if I'd ever use that as, you know, a full page or a happy horizontal or vertical or whatever. But I've cut out quite a few of the other page, and I would definitely do that again because these are just adorable. So I think I'm just going to take that out. If I feel like there's a reason to throw it in there, I will. But um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I got out all the... Oh, oh here's another one. Oh, nope, that's my word. <laughs> I actually heard somebody else say that the other day, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> it's something that I guess some of us just say. Okay, so I have this, and I would think I would just use it for embellishments. So I think I'm just going to set that aside, too. Anything I might use for embellishments, I'm just going to set it aside. And, um, and I'm not opposed to actually even, you know, maybe even dividing... Or using this as a background. I don't know. I suppose we could just take those out and I could use them for embellishments because I could always cut them out. Okay. So, oh, and this isn't even a whole one and neither is this, but they were too large to put into my 8.5 by 11. And I love, love, love this. This is just so pretty. And I would definitely, you know, use board strips because look at that. It's cute little houses. That will be an embellishment video one day. 
Okay, so I don't know. I'm thinking I could start with this first since it's right here on top. This floral. And I think this is what I used in my granddaughters where I used a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And I'm thinking just put three page three papers together. And let's see. I think I'm gonna put this over here and then kinda like I love this. Maybe even just start with that. Do I have do I wanna put see I would think um I would love to see maybe not a black floral with it. What do I have? And I know you can kind of see there, but hopefully that's a little more in view. I'm going to have to figure out how to <laughs> arrange it so it's, cause this is like as far as back as it'll go. And I know, I thought I've had it some other way. No. This looks like it matches this real good, but this almost looks a little, maybe too orange. But I could use that. Now, I really love flowers, so that I always kind of think of that as a main way to go. But um, I love this too, so it'd be that'd be an easy way for me to go. You know, start with a kit starter. Um, this would, any of that would go well. Oh, and here's that, almost that, well, it is like that same flower. So maybe this, and I think this is way too orange now, which I didn't really, well, I don't know, maybe it's not too bad. I don't know, now it just looks orange to me. So I'm going to take that out. And let's see what else would look good with it. Oh, I did like this dot. Maybe that. Okay, I think that I think that's one already. I feel excited. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this over here and put a printer paper between it. Sometimes when I start going, I end up with like a whole pile of printer paper <laughs> once I start scrap scrapbooking the kits I've made. Okay, maybe let's work off this. I love this. I made a um, an embellishment from, oh no, I, I didn't, my friend did. She used this to make an embellishment for the Love RTS swap one time. Now, I love this plaid. I would love to get that in there someplace. So maybe that, and I know there's a green leaf in here. And so, so far we've actually taken stuff from at least two kits, I know that. Now that's that green, that the leaf green. Do I like that together? Somebody say something. <laughs> help, help, I don't know. <laughs> Let me look a little bit harder. I think I'm going to pull this out too because I think I just probably won't use them unless they're for embellishments. So as I run into those, I'm going to do that like this here. Oh, and I've got five right in a row, I think. Okay. Oh, I actually have to one of hers collections, I have a um, chipboard. I think maybe two collections I have chipboard, but I know one is for one of these. I think that's an, another of the same plaid. No, it's not. It's this one. Okay, and I think that's not it. Come apart. Okay, let's see. That's that same green. What about the houses? I don't know if I like this in there. I don't think that's it either. Let's see, we got the beach, we got the green. What about this? It's almost like this is the light color, and if you went dark, it would be that. Do I like that in there? 
like. I kind of like that. I think maybe that's it. We just kind of, oh, wood grain. Yeah. What about that? Ooh, yeah, that's calling to me. Okay, I say that's another one. I love that. Gingham in the wood grain. Beautiful. Okay, there's one. There's one. <laughs> that's pirate for there's one. <laughs> okay, now I've got out this house. What about those two things together? And then what? I love the little house paper. And I, I totally cut out all the houses, but I don't know. I kind of would like to use it as something else. Mm, I think that's too much. Okay. I have these little peeps. I don't know if I like that with it so much. I kind of like the idea of the people in the neighborhood. I don't know. Maybe I'll kind of leave that there for a while. Let's see what else could go with it. Now, I've, I've really only got two colors in there, so it's like... Kind of a little brighter. Let's see if there's something else I like better. Or you know the greens are so bright and this is probably the same way. Now this has kind of different shades. Or is it maybe the scale's too much the same? I kind of not digging that. Kind of like the peeps with it. I don't know. Oh, I just love this paper. I think I have a six by six of this collection. Otherwise, I got something that's got the same, same design almost. Okay, here's paper. Well, so much for um, me having these kind of lined up in order. <laughs> Color order because they're out of order now. No, that's too much like the black and, the black and white stripe. I'm not with that here. I don't know. I just kind of like the peeps. And I like this with this or this. Yeah, I could just keep it all together. Is it just too much black and white? Uh, this is kind of a different white. Maybe I'll stay with this. It looks all fresh and clean. Okay, I'm going to call that another one. Okay. And I'm going to have to get up and grab more printer paper in a minute. Okay, what else? And so, so far, we have three. I think I kind of want to tally that. <laughs> okay, let me grab some more printer paper and a pen because I think I would like to kind of keep a tally and because I mean I was thinking I'd feel really good if I got five because I felt so disappointed that I hadn't used them and let's see I don't even want to write on that. Okay, let me just spread it out here. I'm not just grab the scratch paper. Okay. So I got three. Okay, now if I could just work with one of these that's laying here. It's definitely too bright. Oh, too much the wrong color. 
this work with any of that? Oh, pencil. I like that with that. What else could I bring into that? If you got a plan, holler out. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, oh, there's a green. I already got that. Do we have any yellows in here? I'm gonna kind of flip. Oh, there's some there I'd really like to start with. You know, this would go great with the wood grain, and I don't think I have one in here. So maybe that's something I can just add to it. Gosh, I love this honeycomb one. Look at that. I think... Oh, look at that. I kind of like that. And I could always add wood grain to it when I worked with it. But I like that. Doing it. Okay, that's four. Okay, I love this. Let's just pull it out and work with it. Okay, I don't remember there being a bunch of blue in this. But maybe I was wrong. What's this? Oh, printer paper. <laughs> okay, oh, I do have this wood grain. I used one of those, but let's see. I don't think that's what I'm thinking for that one. What could I work into that? Oh, this has blue in it. And it looks like the exact same blue. Hmm. I think I could definitely play with that. Anything else? I don't think that. Concentrating so much, I'm biting my lip. <laughs> okay, where, what do we have here? Oh, um, as for the um, the lizard update, yeah, we've not seen the lizard <laughs> since. Hopefully, it left. That's not exactly like no blue in it whatsoever. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that because I like that. I mean, I could use that in a big way for some flowers and and even something. Yeah, I'm digging that. Okay. Yay! Hey, we got five done. I'm totally in for that. Okay. And what did I put these over here for? Because I'm thinking about them? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, well they are flowers. I can't say, I mean, I love a diagonal stripe. Um, it would be all right for a background. I was gonna say, I'm just not digging those two colors together. But, if it's a background, Then I probably wouldn't mind it. What do we got to go with that? I like that. Take this out. I think I don't want to see that <laughs> for a while. I might have to leave. Okay. I love those two. Did I already do that? With a different wood? 
think I did. Is that what I put the wood with? It is. That looks so good with wood. <laughs> okay, and I think I've done this one already. But what if that was with the wood so I don't have the exact same thing going on? Oh, and this. This is one of my favorite patterns. Because I know one other um, pad of paper I had had very similar. Now this, the white's not completely right on. But I think I could totally live with that. I think I'm going to put that in. Wow, this is a lot faster than I thought it would be. Sometimes I've tried to put things together and it's like, you know, I do it all the time with, um, oh, what did I do with my printer paper? You know, I do it all the time when I'm making pages with photos at hand, but um, it's like sometimes I just think, oh, if I just get these things together, maybe I could work with them a little faster. Because for some reason, it's like they're just sitting there and working with other things. I love this. If there's any way I can bring this in with something else, I would totally do that. Oh, I love these. I love this here. So let me just pull that out. Now, um, this is all from that uh, Peaceful Heart. And it has this one with the, I think they're cranes. But it's like, I could use that, but I love this. So what could I put with that? That's, that's a question. <laughs> this is like just too much like the same thing. And, I don't know, could this be like a background for this? Yeah, I don't like it. And this is almost kind of a, a white with a drop of, pink paint in it. <laughs> That's what I think when I look at it. My camera turned off. Okay. Sometimes it's just not very cooperative, that camera. I, I don't know whether it thinks, oh, you've just left it sit here. I don't know. Peeps. Black and gold. Hmm. I'm not hitting that. I don't understand really the birds on a black space because I think that just doesn't look very daylight. <laughs> but I'll have to work something out with it. How about this? Is it just too much the same pattern? Oh, they're both gold foiled. This has got that pinky tone in it, which I'm not really hating with that, but. What if it was just mixed with blue? I do like those colors together. Uh, my papers are all on the skew. <laughs> yeah, here's where I'm stuck. Stuck again. Okay. I think I just need something with more color in it to start with. I love this, but it's like, where do you go from there? I think that's my problem. What is this? Mm. 
navy. Love it. Oh, I'm really liking those together. Okay, what do I want to put with that? And can I bring in a big flower? That's it's got kind of a I can't tell if it's navy or it looks like its background is navy also. I don't know. I think I'm gonna put those together. We'll see if we can use that. I like it. The greens aren't right on. Let me look just a little. Just a little harder. Okay, let's see. I think that was from the same collection, too. Pretty sure it was. Yeah, it was from the same collection, because this is. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it together. I still like it. Real love it with that navy background. Okay, now we've almost got the one from the bottom up on the top. <laughs> so I might as well just do that. I know that's one I've, I have worked with. Maybe that would get kind of jump start me again. Don't need that in there. Now this here, these are these little fish are painted on my daughter's um, yoga studio. So that might be something I would be using again. Let me take this out of here. And I probably won't use something like this unless I use it for a frame. So I would definitely use those again. And what would I want to use them with? Let's see. Oh, but here's a little two by twos. Oh. I'm running into all these. Okay, I think they're all together. Wow, I feel like my spot, my stack's a lot smaller now. Okay, I have this one. This is a really pretty paper. I like how it just kind of, the color almost looks to, like it's moving. So I could use those together. They're really like delicate looking colors. I throw in a big flower. Mm. Or maybe this, kind of use it like it's a solid. Yeah, I could use that together like that. Okay. Wow, we got eight. We'll quit when we get to ten. And then, um, so I'm not, uh, don't have you on here for so long. And then, um, having to load it for so long. Well, you know what? I thought I would start everything with a flower. So let's, let's try starting one with a flower. Because I think I, I think lots of the other ones, I just grabbed out other ones I liked and kind of went from there. I'll tell you, I love love this green, and I think we use the green with some definitely a different scale. If even if we use that same one, but I don't think we did. I don't know if I could ever use those. I just don't know if I have anything that would go with it. Okay. Oh, I love these, but I almost just see them cut out. <laughs> I guess if you cut it in half, you know, kind of use it like a happy horizontal or a vertical. 
Yeah, it's really pretty, but I just see it maybe more as being cut out. Oh, here's a gingham here. What about something like that? Hmm. I kind of like that. It's not a full dot, but I got another one if I decide I need the full dot. Okay, we got nine. Let's do one more. And this was a paper that I had bought and then realized it had yoga stuff on the back. But this one is from the paper pad, so it's doesn't have anything on the back, but let's start with that. Let's see what can go with it. Because I love that. Love, love, love. Okay. And if there's pink in there, it's pretty hidden. Oh, I guess this is. I don't know, that's not doing it for me. What about this one? Hmm. If they were all cut out, I might like it on there. Okay, what else do we have? I just thought I'd pull that out and everything would go with it. <laughs> I thought, oh, that's a good last one. Everything will go with this. Okay, what about... One of the flowers with a lighter background. What about this one over here? Is this the same color? Yeah, it's pretty close. What about that? Kind of like that. This is from the same collection. I do like that. We can go with it. What I just put, use two papers and, and what? Hmm. What do you think? kind of liking it and then if I had you know the embellishments could totally make it where's that little check When I see the gold, I kind of want to bring in more gold. Like I had this here, but then it, it just seemed, I don't know, now there's such a glare for me. Sorry, probably, probably so much of a glare for you guys too, sorry. Okay, I don't know, I kind of like that together. I'm just gonna stick it together, put all four of these. We'll see what happens. Okay, and so, that is number 10, and I think I could still pull some more from this. So maybe we'll just do this one more time tomorrow, and um, and then we'll start putting embellishments with it the next day. So thanks for joining me. Um, if you like this video, like it, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Bye-bye.